Well, welcome to this online revision session for AQA FP4, in which we'll be covering the June 2011 question three on the topic of vector products and scalar products. Well, this question gives us three vectors, P, Q, and R. In the first part, we're told that P cross Q, remember the, that's the vector product of P and Q, which is perpendicular to P and Q, that answer is parallel to R. So we have to, if that's the case, that means that P cross Q can be expressed as a multiple of R, since it's in the same direction as R. And from that, we should be able to determine the value of T. In the second part, P, Q and R are linearly dependent. And if you remember, if they're linearly dependent, they're lying in the same plane, which means that they're triple scalar product. And that can be P dot Q cross R or in any other order, R dot P cross Q, since we've already worked out P cross Q in the first part, that must be equal to naught. And from that, we all know that it is linearly dependent. Okay, well, let's start off on the first part of this question then. We need to determine then P cross Q to begin with. So to get P cross Q, we can write this as a determinant of i, j, and k with p and q. So that's 1, 4, and 7, and 7, and negative 2, and 4. And so this will be equal to, well, i times its, the determinant of 4, 4, negative 2, and 7 will give us 16 plus another 14, so that will give us 30. And the j one we have to remember is negative because of the plus minus plus from the grid. So that's going to give us 1 times 4 minus 7 times 7. So that's 4 minus 49. So that's minus 45. So that's going to be plus 45. And then the last entry with the k will be 1 times negative 2, 4 times the 7. So that's negative 2, take away 28. So that's negative 30. Okay, so now we've got to realize, well, what multiple, if this P cross Q is parallel to R, it must be a multiple of R. Well, we can see the first entry is a two and we've got 30 in the answer for P cross Q. So this must be 15 lots of whatever R is. So this must be 15 times two, 15 times three gives us 45. So what times 15 gives us negative 30? This would have to be negative two. And so the value of T that we require here, okay, that fits is t equals negative 2. Okay, so our marks in this particular case are attempting this vector product as a method mark for obtaining the correct answer to p cross q you'll get an accuracy mark but then it, expressing this as a multiple of r and realizing that t has to be negative 2 you will then get a mark as well. Next part of the question then, P, Q and R are linearly dependent. Okay, so that means we can, t we know that R dot P cross Q has to equal zero. 
and we know the vector r because that's now 2, 3, t and we know that p cross q was our vector from the previous part which is 30, 45, negative 30 and this has to equal naught for it to be linearly dependent. So if we multiply this out we're going to get 60 plus 135 minus 30t has to equal naught. So we can divide, and let's see, add that up, we get what, 195 must equal 30t. And so from that, we know t must be, well, 30 into 195, well, that's going to be 6 lots is 180, with 15 left over, and 15 over 30 is a half. So t must, in this case, be six and a half. Okay, well where the marks come in this case? Well for attempting a triple scalar product is your method mark. Okay, for obtaining an appropriate expression for t you'll get one mark and then for obtaining the correct value of t out of that expression you'll get one mark. Okay, well hopefully you found that solution helpful. For further support for your exam revision, please go to the Further Math Support Programme website.